Okay, so I'm here with Juan Calle. Hi, Juan. How are you, Luke? What's and, going on? Uh, yeah, I'm really too happy to announce that we are switching low web. Uh, we're switching low web to .co, so it's low .co. Wow. And it's low .co instead of low web.net, <laughs> which is, uh, sounds like for my grandmother. <laughs> you know, it sounds like a little uh, old fashioned from the 1990s or something. So you're upgrading to co? Yeah, so Juan That's is the awesome. founder and CEO yep. of uh, .co, .co, what do you say? Yeah, Bob? .co, yeah. Okay, which is a it's extension. A, it's a new extension, brand new domain extension that we launched uh, in July of 2010. Right, and it's pretty popular, right? You have uh, Dave McClure with 500. Yeah, we've got, we've got some great use cases. We've got Dave McClure using uh, 500.co for his fund. We've got Twitter uh, using t.co. Oh yeah, that's huge for you yeah, guys. It's yeah, it's amazing. It's all over the web. Uh, yeah. We've got AngelList uh, using angel.co. So we've got some really, really cool use cases and the company's growing really fast. So you created, uh, how, how can, can you create an extension in 2012? So, it's like, it's, it's a weird idea. Yeah, so we- It sounds to me like a very, uh, like non-sexy business. How, <laughs> how cool is it? So we recognized, uh, you know, as, as an entrepreneur, I, I had gone through the experience of having to try to register names for my own businesses. And, and I recognized that it was clearly an opportunity to launch something, uh, a brand new space, a cool new space where, where really cool things were happening online. Uh, and th that was the genesis of, of, of .co. But it's um, more like a, a pain in the butt, right? It's, it's more like, so for the web, .com has been taken yeah. since even before we created uh, the web. So I can't really talk about squatting before it was created. Yeah. But we tried to, like there's nothing on it. Yeah. There is, it's like, um, uh, I think the most famous domain square high of uh, <laughs> Japan or something. And there's nothing there. It's yeah. like, it's like uh, Google AdWords, right? So I've been trying to, to buy it like, anyway, and we can't get it back. Yeah. So, so you, your story is the story that's fueling the, the tremendous growth that we've seen. So when we launched in July of 2010, uh, we, we grew very quickly at the beginning. Now we're already at 1.3 million domain names registered by people all over the world. Obviously, a lot of it is in the US and the UK. How much is a domain name? Uh, it's it's a, it's more expensive than com, which is actually one of the one, one of the things that we like to talk about. Uh, oh, you like to talk about the fact you're more expensive. Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 more expensive because we want to deter. How much? It's it's thirty bucks. You can get bucks it per year. Per year, yeah. You can you can get discounts. One point five million domains by thirty bucks a year. <laughs> hey, you're a good business. <laughs> it's decent. <laughs> okay, but, so you can't get squatting. I should let you talk, maybe. No, no. I mean, the the, the key thing is this. Look, the domains uh, typically have been the, the legacy domain extensions have been priced artificially low. Okay, the log legacy domain extensions. <laughs> yeah. that, that's that's. Um, we want real businesses. No, you're cool. Yeah. We want real businesses to build on that cause, and and we think that it, you know for the right name, you're willing to pay a little bit more, uh, and, with that and it deters cyber squatting. Yeah. Because it's too expensive for them. Yeah, because they like to buy thousands of names. So when you when you multiply one thousand times you know thirty bucks, you're 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 you know you're it's it's a big chunk of your budget if you're if you're a big domainer. Um, so yeah, it's helped us, you know, really deter that aspect of the business, and and, and allows us to focus on on the big domain, on the on, on the big use and cases. So a lot of startups use it. You were saying Angel. Yeah, a ton. And so why are you? So are you focusing on startups? Yeah, a hundred percent focusing on startups because we we feel look the the, the web for the last twenty five years were was built on dot com. We're not going to change that. What we can change is what happens in the next twenty five. So we focus all of our efforts on, on being at what we call the, the point of inception, the point where, where ideas are being born. Uh, so it's, it's all about startups. So it's, it's available, okay. And, uh, and so, so, but I, I thought like the web was dead, right? Like you don't, <laughs> like who needs a domain name anymore? Yeah. You just open your, your iPhone or your Android and you search for something, right? Absolutely, and I think, uh, so there's this argument, uh, as you're saying <laughs> that, that uh, you know, with apps, the, the web is dead and the Wired had a famous article on that. Well, there's the, the counter argument is, that actually the web is catching up to all the all the all the functionality that you can have in the app environment. So uh, what we're betting on is that the web is coming back and it's coming back in a very big way. Okay. Well, I have uh, friends who would argue on that, but that's, <laughs> that we'll talk about it at the web. And uh, so you're coming to the web co London. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, Looking uh, forward to being there. June uh, 19th and 20th. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? And we'll have a great startup competition there. Let's see how many have uh, .co names. Awesome. And uh, we will, uh, so if you, do, if you don't have your ticket yet, you should go to uh, leweb.co. So we're switching now, actually. So yeah. by the time you, you see that video, we might be on uh, leweb.co already. And, cool. Um, and book your tickets. And Juan, thanks for all your support doing this. No, thank you uh, for, for switching. That's awesome. For upgrading. <laughs> upgrading from the grandmother's uh, uh, name, and I, I love my grandmother, you know. But yeah, yeah, it, it, no, you're right that the web.net sounds like a little passé uh, <laughs> somehow. So it, it, I, I like .co. I, if, I like .co. Maybe I should do Loic code uh, as well. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to see more of all the companies that are using .co, go to go.co, go.co. Oh, that's cool. Great. Well, this guy is a great guy. You should talk to him in any case. And uh, also, they, uh, you can talk to them, which is, which is nice, yeah. instead of, uh, of no one and uh, just a form of name that you feel That's right. That's right. Philippe. Not Philippe. Like what? Cool, man. <laughs> the web.co.